Well, hello and Merry Christmas. We um, just want to make a video today to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And um, been wanting to make this video for quite a while. And uh, the Lord brought me to some prophetic scripture in the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. And we'll go over that in a minute, but I want to talk briefly about um, Micah's, uh, uh, the, the prophet Micah. He's one of the 12 minor prophets listed in the Old Testament. And he, um, his prophecy, a lot of it pertained to the end times and to uh, the battle of Armageddon and the, the last battle. But it right in the middle of his book, it's tucked away in uh, chapter 5, there is a prophetic word that Micah gave to the children of Israel about the Messiah. And you got to understand how immense and how wise God is because Micah lived some 700 years before Jesus was ever born. So... This is uh, quite startling. If anybody's struggling with, um, you know, this whole idea of um, can God do this or can God do that, or um, if you're just struggling with just understanding how much God loves you um, and how immense and how awesome and how splendid God is I just I just want to encourage you today that's why I want to make this video because in the middle of this is a word and, and it's a word for the church now and it's a word for the children of Israel then and it's also a word to someone today because um, I just want to tell you that Bethlehem is an insignificant place and the prophet Micah prophesied that the Messiah, the Christ, would come from a tiny little place called Bethlehem, about 20 miles south of Jerusalem. And so we're going to go straight to the scripture. Uh, we're going to jump in at uh, chapter 5 of Micah, verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me, the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from old, from everlasting. Okay, from that last part, he's saying that the Messiah will be God himself. The Messiah is from everlasting, meaning he is eternal. He had no beginning and he has no end. He is the eternal God. And that right there is proof of the Messiah's deity and we accept Christ as the Messiah uh, I know the Jewish people currently do not accept Christ Jesus as the Messiah as as the um, anointed one but he uh, in our faith he is and so my word to you today I want to encourage you because um, not only did Micah write this 700 years before Christ was even born and predicted uh, that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, you got to understand, too, the story that Jesus wasn't from Bethlehem. They uh, were commanded to go there by a law that was passed. The Romans had passed a law to, that made them to report for a census for the people to be counted. So this was something that God also orchestrated in order to fulfill this prophecy. But scripture, so many prophecies were fulfilled in the life of Christ. And that's how one of the reasons that validates Jesus as the Messiah for us as Christians. So, but my word to someone today is, let's back up to uh, chapter, um, we're in chapter 5 of Micah, verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, afraid that though you are little among the thousands of Judah okay so I was reading that and the Lord spoke to me about someone who needs to hear this and I know that if you stop by and watch this video there's a reason for you to stop by and watch this video it's not just because 
Um, it was an accident. But someone needs to hear that even though you feel little and insignificant, you are not little and insignificant. You are important. And I know a lot of people who probably thought that Bethlehem is, is such a tiny place and such a seemingly insignificant place. A lot of people probably looked at Jesus and knowing where he came from, knowing where he was born, they probably rejected him partly based on where he came from, where he was born, um, where his people were from. And I think that maybe someone who's going to watch this video is maybe experiencing the same thing. Maybe they they feel like they've been overlooked. Maybe you feel like you have been um, discounted, not valued. But I have a word for you, that you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. You keep doing what you know is right. You keep following truth. You keep looking for God. You keep trying to find where God is. You seek Him. You continue to read the Word of God. You continue to let the Spirit fill you, the Spirit of God fill you. And I guarantee you that God will give you a breakthrough in your life. I know that um, personally how it feels to be overlooked and to be undervalued. And so that's part of the reason why I'm giving this message is because a lot of the things that I preach on, a lot of the things that I talk about, uh, I talk from a, a from a position of experience. I've ex actually experienced them. I've actually gone through them. So, but that's my word today for you to, just to hang on is that you will be validated and you will uh, see a change. You will achieve that which you know God has ordained for you. Uh, someone is inquiring about their spiritual gifts and you're looking and you're asking God what what is my gift? What is my purpose? What is what is my reason for being here, Lord? And God's gonna He's He's gonna reveal that to you. I feel very strongly about that. So just be encouraged. I just want to get on here real quick and tell you Merry Christmas. I just had this message and I, I saw this little uh, snippet of scripture. I just wanted to um, validate the uh, prophecy and um, there's so many prophecies that I, you, we could spend all day. Uh, just going through all the stuff the many many prophecies that were fulfilled in, in the life of Jesus but this one particular one just stood out to me and I'm intrigued by uh, how God orchestrated all that to bring that to pass it's just a simple little thing but but anyway uh, that's my word for you today uh, be encouraged um, and pray that you will continue to, to look and seek for God and uh, continue to look with all your heart. Uh, we're going to talk about in the next couple videos about seeking the Lord with all your heart. And uh, because God wants you to find him. And he wants to find you. So be encouraged. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas and God bless you. Have a great day.